the channel day one squad you already know who this is and if you're new it's Mona Lisa so tell a friend for tell a friend like and comment and if you like me hit that subscribe button and welcome to the tribe I just feel so fucking hype right now because for one it is a new year it's 2021 2020 was a long year when I tell you it's like a bittersweet year because it's like good things and bad things happen at the same time but it was you know it was bittersweet so I just want to say happy new year to all of you guys thank you guys so much for supporting me like I've been getting so much support over the course of two months you know what I'm saying and it's like I don't even find myself that entertaining but you guys do so I definitely appreciate y'all for that showing me mad love and yeah I'm going to be doing a like a Q&A kind of life update type thing because I've been getting like a lot of DMs and stuff and th I didn't post a Q&A thingy like you know we normally do on Instagram or Facebook but I've been getting like a few questions like from a lot of people on a daily and I feel like it's only right if I do a Q and A and really like put you guys on to and really like put you guys on to what's been really going on. So let's get into the video. So I have the questions in my notes because I didn't want to like keep on going back and forth from Facebook and Instagram so I did put them in you know my notes so the first question that i have is why haven't you been posting now i get this question a lot um i don't know if y'all know Damy sjatv i did a collab with him um but basically we we, we really kind of like not work together but we give each other advice on certain stuff so like he's been really motivating me to like do certain stuff but then again it's like there's a teeny just a little bump in the road as to why i'm not consistent and congrats to him he just hit a hundred a thousand subscribers so go ahead and go over there if you haven't already go over there and subscribe to his channel tell him mona lisa sent you okay so yeah back to the question the reason why i have not been posting y'all is for one i don't know if i told y'all but i did sell my macbook so like me recording on my camera and then trying to get it to my phone so i can edit it like it's it's a hassle sometimes i lose um footage and stuff like that so like by the time i'm done i'm just frustrated sometimes like it takes an hour for me to transfer over to my phone and it's just it's just too much so i just i just do it whenever i like have time or i feel like i have time but yeah i need to make time for you guys are you ever gonna do a meet and greet i've been like really thinking about doing a meet and greet but I'm not as big yet so when I get to like a certain mark and I'm certain that y'all are gonna show up then I'll definitely do it like no problems but as far as right now I'm not where I want to be at yet so it's not gonna happen right now so what's a big obstacle you had to overcome in 2020 like I really don't know how to answer this question but a really big obstacle that I really overcame was i don't know if y'all know but i was in a very toxic situation and like i felt like i there was no you know door or way to get out of it and like all i had to do was pray and you know everything happens for a reason because while i was in that situation like i was never I, don't get me wrong i was making hella bread but like i was never doing anything for myself that like better me in the future i wasn't really doing that because i was so focused on like making this person happy and making sure that you know their needs and stuff is taken care of dumb situation but you know everything happened for a reason and then here comes covid and you know we had to be quarantined and i had time to really think to myself like i really don't need to be in this situation you know what i'm saying i don't have to so thank god for that strength thank god for i'm sorry for everybody that lost their life you know what i'm saying like like i said everything happens for a reason and it sucks that a lot of people lost their life because of this but you know on the bright side for those who did realize a lot of things you know it's been a, a bittersweet year like i said what software do you use to edit your videos and thumbnails now i use imovie plain blank period 
iMovie is the best app you can ever use. I know people use other apps, but I just feel like iMovie works perfectly fine for me. And for my thumbnail, I use this app called PixArt. Like, it really gives you a lot of options, so that's what I used to do my thumbnail. Now, if you have any, like, you know, suggestions, please hit them in the comments down below and I'll check them out. What are your future goals as far as career-wise? I honestly want to tap into the esthetician slash cosmetology field because y'all know I love makeup and I've recently just started well not I'm not gonna say recently like a few months ago I, I like really started to like like nails and stuff because every time I go to the nail salon y'all I would have to tell them exactly how I want my nails and it's only one person that does my nails right all the time and I'm telling you, she gets it right. So if you live in Biloxi, go for it, the Aberville, and you want a good nail tech, go to TNT Nails and ask for Hang. She's gonna hook you up, I promise. So yeah, that's what I wanna do. I want to get into the cosmetology slash esthetician field. Are you still in college? What is your major? I know in one of my videos I said I was going to school for, for pharmacology. Now, what happened was I decided not to do it because I was in the middle like I got to the middle of my semester like you know and it was just not for me like and then again it was online so like I'm a hands-on type of learner so when it comes on to like online school it's just not me period and it was just a lot of like drugs that you really had to study and by the time I get done like studying i'm telling you guys like i feel so drugged up like i just want to go to sleep and that's not healthy at all like i'll be so lazy to like do homeworks and assignments and stuff like that it was just not a good fit for me you know and i feel like if you're gonna go into college please do not let your parents or anyone force you to do something that you're, you don't want to do because you're gonna end up failing point blank period you're going to end up failing because that's not really what you want to do so make sure that you're doing something that you want to do just to avoid all that you know what i'm saying can you post more often i i'm working on it i'm sorry i'm working on it but i will try are you dating right now now this is where y'all got dating and being in a relationship messed up when you're dating it means you're like hold on Oop, the wig okay when you're dating it means you're like dipping into different baskets to see you know what you like who you like if this person is for you if this person is not for you dating is when you're like talking to multiple people at the same time to really figure out who or which one is the perfect fit for you so no i am not dating um however i am in a relationship it's getting very serious i feel like this person like we're the same person and like i have not felt like myself you know like dealing with someone i always felt like i was either pressuring them or i was a a burden to them or you know just you know i don't know how to explain it but with this person it's like i can be myself because we're basically the same person we're two different signs but we're the same person and we we're from the same country too so yeah that's a big plus and i know i said i would never 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 date a jamaican but trust me i got the right one this time i had to take a sip y'all do a story time on your most toxic ex now how I feel about that, I don't know how I feel about that because for one, why would I bring something like that into a new year, you know? Like, I don't want that toxic stuff to ruin my year. So I'm definitely not gonna do that. I'm not gonna give this person any clout because this is what that person wants. Like, if y'all know who I'm talking about, then y'all know. This person wants clout so bad and I'm not gonna give it to him. So with that being said, no, I will not be doing a story time. What advice would you give to a freshman in college? This really ties back into me telling you to make sure that when you're going to college, make sure that you pick a major that you're really interested in and you know that's something that you want to do because being a freshman, like it's all exciting when you're finna start college or whatnot, but 
it gets crazy and it gets hard and if you don't have like a certain type of support you know which nine times out of ten you probably won't it's just not gonna be a big a good fit so make sure that you do something that you really want to do don't get pressured by your parents by your friends like just do something you want to do I feel like that's the only way to succeed as a freshman in college and you know moving forward so yeah but hey that's my opinion you could take it or you could leave it and good luck to you though what are your long-term goals as far as everything <laughs> y'all are so nosy my long-term goals will definitely be for okay one of my long-term goals is to make youtube a career eventually i'm not saying i'm gonna have it as like my only career but it's always good to have like more than one source of income i definitely want to have at least six sources of income so like I'm really like tapping into little different stuff like I have influencers or you know brands hitting me up to do you know collabs and stuff like that so I'm definitely considering those um I do have a full-time job um I'm also gonna eventually turn YouTube into a full-time job gonna go back to school for cosmetology because that's what I really want to do but yeah like that's really what my long-term goals consist of at the moment as far as like personal life um i hope the person i'm with is like the one and you know we can make moves together because it's he's a very like successful young intelligent guy so you know i just hope that things work out can you do more what's in your purse videos guys i realize that every time i post a video that has to do with purse like whether it's reviewing a purse or showing you guys what's inside my purse i get hella views and i'm telling y'all i love doing those videos because i i'm the type of person i like to know like what i'm curious about what other females carry in the purse sometimes so like if i could show you that i'm gonna show you that and i'm not gonna keep showing y'all the same purses all the time because i have a, a very big variety of purses so i'm gonna show y'all I'll, I'll try let's just say i'll try would you ever collab with any small youtubers <sighs> now this is a very sensitive topic to like you know small youtubers like myself because i remember one time I don't know if y'all know Carmen and Corey. If y'all do, majority of if y'all are more, majority of y'all probably do. Um, Corey went live one night and I asked him the same question, and his response was, "No, he's not gonna collab with any small YouTubers because they always want to use him for views and for money and whatnot." And I'm like, "That's the whole point of collabing, so you can, you know, come up." But these youtubers once they get to the top they really be forgetting where they be coming from because at one time i remember that it was a lot of them that formed a group and they all came up together so why can't you help someone you know small come up they just i don't know it's just a lot of you know selfishness going on in the youtube industry right now and so if i can help someone better themselves definitely like i would definitely collab with a small youtuber just like myself i would definitely and even if i get big you know but you really got to be careful so i really kind of understand where he was coming from because you know people stalk you people do this people do that i will definitely help you out in any way i can and i keep my promise so for the person that asked me this question please if you are following me on my social medias dm me and i'll respond like i respond i'm very responsive so you know dm me and i'll tell you like anything any questions that you have for me just go ahead and ask me and i'll answer those for you what's your favorite thing to do at the moment i really don't have a favorite thing yeah i don't have a favorite thing i really i really don't what's your favorite sport my favorite sport is soccer i played soccer in high school actually i played soccer in high school i did cheerleading and i did um i did track track and field but i threw if y'all know shot put and discus 
that's what I did and I also did powerlifting so yeah that's my favorite my but my favorite sport is soccer out of all and the last question that I have I intentionally saved this one for last because it's a very like it's something that's very important and it's can you give advice on how to start a YouTube channel now I I think I'm going to do a separate video on like a few tips and stuff I'm gonna do a separate video for that so thank you that's another YouTube idea for me but the first thing you gotta do create a Google account start a YouTube channel that's all you gotta do all you gotta do is turn on your camera you don't even like to start off on YouTube it's preferably like it's it's best if you have like great quality but you know people will understand if you have a personality people are, people are gonna support you regardless so you know just be yourself start it because if you don't get it started it's never gonna get started you know what i'm saying upload something so if you're gonna if you're gonna make a channel and you want to tell people oh go subscribe to my channel but they don't have nothing to come see they're not nine times out of ten you're probably gonna get like two subscribers when you could have had like a hundred if you had something on there you know what i'm saying so definitely get started that's all i have to say that's all i have for you guys today so if you enjoyed the video go ahead and like comment and subscribe like i said in the beginning and yeah stay tuned for more lady content and i'll see you guys in the next